Hey everybody, I'm Peter Antoniatis, physiotherapist here again. So today we're going to be demonstrating an exercise uh, to improve thoracic mobility, but for more, uh, not so much muscle, but more so joint perspective. So it's more so uh, for an individual who's feeling some restrictions in the joint and who want to improve some of that mobility um, on their own. And so what you need is basically a towel. I'm just going to be folding this towel here. You want something fairly firm and uh, you want to be doing this on the ground so that you're uh, able to have a firm surface, uh, not so much a bed uh, or a cushion, just because it's it's going to take a lot of the the, uh, the the pressure. So you need something firm to be able to kind of allow for that over pressure to be applied on the mid back. So let's say you're finding that um, you're spending a lot of time in front of the computer and you're starting to develop this kind of slouch in your spine. And uh, you, you'll notice also, maybe not in sitting in this position here, but more so in a chair that you're kind of lacking the, the ability to arch backwards. You, you flex really nicely forward, but you're kind of lacking the arching uh, backwards position. A simple thing that you can do is use a towel and uh, place it. So this is a larger towel, probably you'd need a face cloth or something. Uh, firm it, firmly roll it and position it in a way that you're gonna line up the roll uh, with your mid back where you're feeling your restriction. So that's, let's say it's around T7, 8 or basically where many people feel it uh, at the peak there where the bra strap is. Uh, and uh, so that, yeah, the T7, 8 level. Uh, and then essentially what you're gonna be focusing on is lining that up with that mid back region. So um, in doing so, you're going to create this uh, arch in the spine and then we'll want to kind of line that up. So basically T7, 8. So this towel is fairly mild, so it's a, a very dull. So you may want to start off with something more uh, less firm and, some, and then progress to something more firm as you progress, as you get better with this. So I'll want to bend the knees so that my back, my low back flattens out. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have my hands either interlaced or I can have them open, whichever you prefer, whichever feels most comfortable to you. Uh, I'm going to be working on uh, extension of the spine, so of the thoracic spine, and, and keeping the knees bent, I'm going to reach my hands overhead. I'm going to try to arch my spine through this process, and you're going to feel a little bit of a stretch in the mid back, a little bit of uh, overpressure where you pla place a towel there. This exercise is great to target that specific level uh, rather than being more general in nature. So this towel will kind of cue your body to, to really um, rotate or extend from that specific level that you place a towel. So you can always adjust it accordingly. And, um, and you can hold that position for 10 seconds at a time, you can come back to the starting position and then repeat. And then you want to just try to kind of make sure you're breathing through this, try to relax your muscle tissue to allow for a little bit of a, a, a stretch in the joint. Uh, and uh, usually repeating 10 times would be okay. So 10 second holds, 10 repetitions uh, to be done on a daily basis, ideally, but uh, uh, you can always you know, do it you know, every other day if you're feeling like it's too much pressure. If you're wanting to bias one side and you're wanting to kind of uh, improve the mobility of let's say one arm one shoulder uh, overhead. What you can do is you can kind of angle the, the towel so that it's uh, more so on a 45 degree angle. Uh, let's say I'm working on the right shoulder, so I'm gonna have it ba biasing the right side of the, the mat. And then I'm gonna try to lie my shoulder blade over top of that towel. And then set myself up in the same region, so a little higher. And then the same, set, same setup where I have my knees bent and then instead of just doing both arms, I'm just going to focus on doing that one arm. So now I'm going to be facilitating that um, that right side bias uh, and maybe kind of getting the ribs involved a little bit here as well. Uh, but definitely kind of working on a little bit more of the, the shoulder blade uh, um, rotation. So we're kind of encouraging a posterior tilt or posterior rotation of the shoulder blade here to help to, to um, uh, accommodated to help to improve the shoulder flexion. So we hold that there for 10 seconds at a time, repeating 10 times. And ideally you wanna be doing this while kind of just relaxing your muscles, not tensing things up. 
if your head if you're finding that your head is too extended like this you can always uh, fold the second towel uh, in you know to the height that you desire and to make sure that your neck is not being strained or hyperextended have your head kind of supported with something to make sure that you don't develop any neck strain so this is typically what happens when we kind of are very very stiff our neck will kind of extend backwards so just make sure you're either uh, uh, supporting with a, a towel not necessarily a pillow because that would obstruct your movement but more so a towel there so that it can kind of be isolated just behind your head.